I recently built a little fixture plate for working smaller parts. These are really useful because they're essentially consumable. I can set it up in a vise or a fore jaw on the lathe, take a skim pass, and I'll know that uh, I've got a good reference surface perpendicular to my spindle. It's an aluminum plate with a series of holes with half the hole drilled and tapped for a quarter twenty screw and the other half drilled and reamed to it except a quarter inch dowel. Part goes on the plate and between the dowels and clamps I can hold parts that I'd otherwise struggle to in a vise or directly on the mill table. Looking at the plate, this type of combined feature is fairly common within a typical design workflow, and I figured I'd use it as an example of a function within SolidWorks I think is vastly underused, the library feature. Library features are a great way to drive standardized designs, eliminate errors, and automate repetitive tasks quickly. Let's go through the workflow of creating a new one. Library features are essentially macros, so we'll need a seed model to start. I have a square block modeled here in SolidWorks, and while the dimensions of this block are irrelevant, it's important to remember that any reference we make to our library feature and this piece of material will need to be replicated when we deploy the feature. Let's start with the threaded hole. I'll spec it out using the hole wizard and select the surface I want to place this hole. For the location, I want to make sure I have the locating dimensions available to me in the finished feature. So I'll place the hole off-center and add dimensions to center it, making sure to avoid making a reference between the hole location and the model origin. The dimensions we use here can be changed later, but they'll be the default when we drag and drop the library feature into our model. So try to keep them in the ballpark of where they eventually end up. The reamed hole is essentially the same, but in this case I can use the original hole as a reference since I want them to be concentric in the final feature. I'm also specifying a hole depth here, which is something that I can adjust in the feature when we deploy it from our, our design library. Whereas with the threaded hole, I just made it a through hole. These are the things that you want to keep in mind as you're making these dimension or these library features for yourself. We're ready to create the library feature. In my design library, I'm going to find a location appropriate for my new feature. Select the two features from my feature manager that I want to comprise the library feature, drag and drop them in the location in my library. When the add library dialog comes up, you'll want to make sure you give it a good descriptive name. This is going to be the name that shows up in the library, so make sure that it makes sense to you. And a description, which shows up when you hover over the library feature in the library. Double check that it's in the location you want and hit the green check mark. At this point, close your seed part and double click the newly created library feature to open it. Our goal here is to review the references and specify the dimensions we'll need to input when we deploy the feature. In the feature manager, expand the references and dimensions folders. In this case, all the references are good. We'll need to specify a surface and two edges to place the feature. Moving down to the dimensions folder, we'll drag and drop the two locating dimensions into the locating dimensions folder. The other dimensions we want to leave as read-only will drop into the internal dimensions folder. You'll notice we left the dimension that specifies the reamed hole depth out of the folders. That'll be a size dimension in the feature we'll see later. That's it. Save and close the library feature. Let's test it out on this part. Drag and drop it onto the surface I want to drill the hole in. Specify the two edges, as well as the locating dimensions specifically for this uh, application. One thing to note, that depth dimension that we had included in the library feature, we didn't put it in either of the folders, is located here. In this case, half an inch is fine. Hit the green check mark and your part is ready to go. Building out your design library is a key component in ensuring you're getting the most value from your investment in SOLIDWORKS. 
If you or your design team are not hitting design targets consistently, reach out to your local MLC CAD systems representative today and ask them how you can use these tools to reach your goals. And as always, thanks for watching.